All right. A few people still trickling in, but Al, you want to, we're, we're, we're being very time efficient today. So you yeah. want to jump into things? Yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, hey everyone, I'm Ali. I'm director of product at Swivel. Um, I'm a former elementary teacher myself. Uh, I taught second, third, and fourth grade for about five and a half years um, before trans transitioning over to the ed tech world. Um, obviously, I have a passion in technology and education. Um, so I'm super excited to be able to work with educators and making sure that everything that we're doing at Swivel is making teaching enjoyable again. Um, and I also have Gerard here with me too. Hey everybody, I'm Gerard Dawson. I'm product manager at Swivel. Uh, I was a high school English teacher for, for about a decade here in New Jersey and um, was a big fan of, of you know, Swivel's products and uh, using them for reflection and feedback while I was teaching and um, happy to be continuing that work here now with with M2. So let's uh, let's dig into what M2 can do. Yeah. All right. So I have M2 here with us. Um, so M2 is very excited to meet everyone here. Um, this is the moment that everyone's been waiting for. So this is M2, the intelligent co-teacher. Um, M2 joined you as a teacher or the teachers that you teach with um, in a classroom, um, PLC meetings, PD trainings, beginning teacher trainings, and it becomes a silent transformative partner. As you can see, it's sitting here, it's in our session. Um, as your co-teacher, M2 offers 100 times the feedback than the normal feedback cycles. Think formal observation cycles, walkthroughs, informal observations, and these real-time tips and guidance that M2 offers to teachers, um, they help bring clarity and confidence to instruction for teachers, making everything enjoyable again. So let's see what M2 has to say so far. I've had it running in the background. Um, so as you can see, I've had a couple tips come in. You can adjust the interval of the time of your tips as well. So my latest, um, my latest tip was start with an, a brief icebreaker or warm up question to engage participants right away and create and create a welcoming atmosphere. So it's giving me an instructional tip of how to start my lesson. Um, you can also use M2 as a live co-teacher. So it can be a true partner in your classroom. You can use this um, by using Ask M2. So I have the remote, which comes with the unit itself. Um, and Ask M2 actually allows you to be, you know, a thought partner when you need it, um, answer or suggest questions, get engaging summaries, and even tell jokes uh, to your students, which sometimes are hard to tell. Um, so M2 can even translate anything for any learner um, in your classrooms, just making sure that we're meeting all the needs of our students. So I'm going to ask it to tell me a joke real quick. Hey, M2, can you tell me a joke in Spanish? Claro, ¿por qué el libro de matemáticas estaba triste? Porque tenía demasiados problemas. <laughs> and that was something like, why was the math? Yeah. The math uh set mathematics sad because they had so many problems so yes <laughs> it's a math joke yes you can even ask them to to summarize the conversation that has been happening the lesson that you've been teaching the pd training that you've already had and this can be happen along the way as well um in every session you've also got tools to help support you as you teach so you have recharge activities to help kind of center your students, do breathing exercises, um, visual activities. You have a whiteboard that can help support small group activities. You have a Zoom app as well, um, timers. And then of course you have the um, swivel recording um, tool as well. So you can still do swivel style recording with an M2 device. Um, just like every partner, M2 also encourages you to talk it out and to reflect after what you just taught um, for both students and for teachers. 
So once a lesson has been taught and you've used M2, you can actually come back to your dashboard, hit this purple reflect button, and you can talk it out with M2 and see what went well, what didn't, how can you improve your lesson for the next day? Um, and all of that thinking is made visible on your dashboard um, through scores and insights. And that can help then guide your instruction and your differentiation of, for your student groups and your instruction. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from my screen here, but I'm being, I, I was scored on my uh, session from engagement, pacing, and questioning. And I scored the lowest on my pacing. I'm probably talking a little too fast here, but I know time is sensitive. Um, and that's kind of the, the deep insights that we can get there. Um, and then a reflection, if I had done a reflection, it's also scored as well. So I'm gonna turn it over to Gerard. I know that was really a brief overview, um, but I'm gonna turn it over to Gerard. He's gonna share a couple of things that are coming. Um, these are some new and exciting things that are a sneak preview for everyone here. No one else has heard about these things. Um, so I'm gonna turn it over to him. Sure, thanks, Allie. Lori had a, a great question, which, which everyone um, should hear. Does, does this work on all mirror devices? And you know, the answer is yes. You just, if you, if, you have, if you have a mirror, maybe you haven't turned it on in a little while, or if you're using it regularly, uh, basically it has become M2 after um, the recent software update, which is, um, you know, will, will happen automatically. You'll be prompted to update. If for some reason it hasn't happened, uh, restart, and you should be able to to update the device, and then you'll you'll have the the M2 um, features that that Ali's talking about. So, yes, anyone with a mirror with a device already M2 uh, is is ready to go. Um, good, yeah. Lori's going to update hers. So, a few a few exciting things that are that are coming soon. For Ask M2, you can it's right now it's it's a it's a flexible tool um, where you can you know ask questions or commands about your lesson and it uh, because of how we've designed the experience it'll provide you know useful relevant appropriate responses for for the classroom. With that said, we're continuing to build out specific uh, commands or functions that. We know are from from hearing from from all of you are specifically useful for your classroom needs. So, like the tell me a joke, uh, summarize that, which will summarize uh, what's recently happened in class, or ask me a question. You know, these are all things that we've heard are teaching challenges that can be places where M two specifically supports you. Uh, so, I'm going to tell you about two new. Ask M2 commands that are that are coming soon, and those are uh, let's review and and check for understanding. Anyone who has taught knows about the the sort of logistical challenge when kids are absent, or uh, it's there's snow days or assemblies or whatever pa time passes, and you have to refresh everybody on what happened last time. Uh, so coming soon. If you used M2 last uh, last class, you'll be able to um, say, hey, M2, let's review. And then you'll get a, a student-friendly, energetic uh, review, a few sentences about, about what happened last time. Uh, and that'll just be you know, available to, to play out loud for, for the class. Uh, the second one, you can say, uh, you'll be able to soon say, hey, M2, um, let's check for understanding. Um, or some version of that phrase. And basically M2 will, will give you give the class an exit ticket style question that will allow you to do those quick uh, temperature checks about student understanding. So you can either adjust in the moment if, if you need to, um, or you know plan your lesson for tomorrow with, with some more insight. And you can imagine there, uh, you can have students you know, raise their hand to respond out loud. Um, do some so sort of total physical response, depending on the question, or or just write down their answers as an exit ticket uh, and and you know submit it to you. Uh, so that's the new ask two command ask m two commands that are coming up. Um, 
Uh, and then two other student-friendly features that we're really excited about. One is that um, is student reflection activities. Coming soon, after your M2 session is completed, uh, we're gonna automatically suggest and, and kind of present to you a few reflection activities that are tailor-made based on what happened in your class that you can assign to the to the kids with, with just a click. Uh, so this is really the, the benefit of having M2 as a partner in your class at all times is we're gonna save you that, that work of um, customizing a reflection to exactly what your needs are. We, we always hear from teachers that we want they want the reflections to really match what they're doing. And this um, allows that to happen with, with really no additional work from you. So that'll be student reflections automatically generated uh, that you can then assign to kids in Mirror Talk to do on uh, their Chromebooks, school issued Chromebooks, iPads, or whatever devices you use. Uh, and the last one is M2 student mode, which will be a student friendly, sort of limited experience to what Ali talked about, where you can switch into student, mo student mode and use M2 to support students working in, in groups or pairs in the classroom, where you know, they're not gonna be getting uh, uh, feedback or tips about, about their work, um, but they will be able to access the M2 tools and they'll be able to ask M2 uh, questions to, to support their learning. And since M2 has the context of what's happening in your class, you know, they can ask questions, th those things that they might be a little bit uh, hesitant to even raise their hand and say in front of the, the class, like M2, what exactly are we doing today? Uh, things like that. And, and they can get a response. So more M2 commands, automatically generated student reflections and M2 student mode are, are all coming soon. Uh, and so I guess our last order of business alley is to, to give away an M2, right? Yeah. A lot of people are probably here. <laughs> yes. So, um, as we mentioned in our email, um, emails, we are going to do a drawing, um, for an M2 device. Um, so anyone who is joint has joined us and is with us right now, um, you'll be entered to win and, after your name is drawn, we'll then reach out to you and we'll coordinate shipping and training and everything for you. Um, I see we have one question. Um, I'll, I'll answer that now. Okay. Um, so the question is, I teach French. Can you can M2 help me there? Um, basically, M2 is is very flexible in in supporting you in, in foreign languages, including French. You know the the observation tips um, right now are are primarily in English with uh, settings coming soon to to adapt to other languages. However, ask him to so when you, as Ali demonstrated before, getting a response to your your request, you can just say respond in French, uh, and you'll get and you can either speak to M two in French to begin with, or you can speak to M two in English and say respond in French, and and you'll it, it will work uh, in that way. Great, and Lori says it, it worked well for her Spanish class, cool. Um, so let's see, we need, Ali, we just need, well, we need to get Don over here to, to do the giveaway, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, if Don can just share his screen. Okay, we're just, we have, we hope will be a fun and exciting way to, to select our, our winner here. Here's Don, there he the is. master of ceremonies. And here's the, here's the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So we have the M2 wheel. Uh, we're going to click to spin and then we will see live on the webinar who, who wins the M2. So go ahead, go ahead, Don. Ooh, M2 is getting dizzy. <laughs> oh, 
All right. We have Larissa as our winner. Congratulations. Oh, uh, Larissa, you you still here? Is she? Oh, uh, she, she may have may have stepped out. But congratulations, Larissa. We're we we will be in touch ASAP to to get you your your M two. We will. We're we're over time too, so <laughs> that's understandable. All right. Well, um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to hang around if you need to to drop. That's also okay too. Um, we're super excited that you were able to meet M2 today. Um, if you have a device, go ahead and try it out. If you're interested in trying it out at your school, let us know. Um, and we'll talk soon.